it all started here. What's up guys and welcome back to another Lego Beyblade video. That's the old intro that I don't use anymore. And of course we're saying that here in this video because we're going to take a look at the newly revamped turn system Beyblades. Now, if you're unaware on what any of these Beyblades are, they're just the Beyblades that I started off this channel on. It was the variant of the metal system um, where the chips and the layer bases corresponded to the spin direction. Um, it was a kind of a boring system since gimmicks were hard to implement. With the metal system, it's already hard enough and I just had to take it an extra mile and just made it even worse. But um, I feel like instead of aiming for crazy gimmicks and things like that, I feel like it would make more sense if we aimed for like a very like balanced meta um, with, you know, like a good amount of base to use. So uh, yeah, we're just going to take a look at each of the base. But before we do that, we're going to talk about the newly revamped system itself. I did alter it very slightly. So um, yeah, we're just going to use the base. I really didn't change that much um, kind of as like, um, you know, just to show because like, um, you know, we have like Siege Mushboom who hasn't changed really that much. We got Infernal Astro and got Colossal Cthulhu. Really only the only changes were like minor uh, color changes really and also they're um, if they weren't double thickness before they are now because like, y you know, um, like double thickness base, they're heavier, and I needed the thinner brackets for um, sparking system base. But anyway, enough of that, we're just gonna take a look at the things. So, um, with the layer, we of course have the layer base and um, the bit chip. So, the chip, whatever. I, I kind of want to call them a bit chip because I'm getting into plastic gen a lot more recently, as you can tell. But, um, yeah, so the chips look like this. Basically, they have these prongs at the sides, and, um, they, um, these determine the spin direction, and, um, if you look, and for those observant viewers, you'd see that they look pretty different than before, um, since before it was, like, this entire, um, 1x3 area was filled up, but now there's a little gap right here, and that's because the layer bases are different too, because now they have an extra stud, um, in those corners. Uh, for a better example, we'll, at, we'll take a look at Infernal Astro, as you can see, we have um, thinner um, pr tabs or prongs, and um, now we have these spots right here. So it, it still works as the turn system. You'll just have to tape these up a little bit, um, but that's not too big of a deal. And I did that so we can have enough room for an extra 2x2 two two, um, upwards facing bracket. Although I guess if it's stud down, then it'd be downwards facing. But honestly, I don't know. Um, and um, because before it was only one of these brackets and... I don't know why it was only one, um, but now it is uh, two brackets, and it's definitely much more sturdy, and you can get more creative with the contact points since before. There were a lot of um, drawbacks to that, but now um, you can, of course, put them in. And um, to um, demonstrate the system like itself, like the, um, the mechanism or whatever, you can fit right spin chips on right spin bases and on dual spin bases, we got Colossal here. You can fit it in just like that. For left spins, you can put it into left spin bases and dual spin bases, like that. And for dual spin chips, which don't have any protrusions, um, you can fit them on right spin things, left spin things, and obviously um, dual spin things. And that's just because of where the um, little spaces are. like. Left spin chips, they're like this, and right spins are like this. You can't take a right spin chip and put it into here, and you can't take a left spin chip and put it into here. So, it's it's kind of whatever. There, it's, there's definitely an easier way to do this. I just didn't want to do it back then. Um, but, um, yeah. Oh, and if you are wondering for these two layer bases, why they have studs here instead of, like, an extra bracket, uh, it's because that just these were built with only using one bracket on here in mind, so I just added some studs to just fill in those gaps. But... Uh, yeah, enough about the bays that we did not change, like, at all. I didn't- I forgot I put this chip already in there, but whatever. Enough talking about the bays that I really didn't change. Let's talking about the bays that I actually did change. And, um, who are we possibly gonna start with? XO, um. So, yeah, this is the upgraded Cyber XO 7 XL. Um, but, yeah, you know, this was the first bay on this channel, and if you guys recall... The original design was very round. Now, it's a little bit more sharp, but it's not too sharp. The reason why I did this was because, like, um, 
in like I guess the um story or like the um you know or whatever that I came up with, which I never mentioned on a video before, but you know, it doesn't matter. Um, this Beyblade is supposed to be like, um, kind of imperfect or incomplete and it would evolve or whatever, I don't know. Like, literally evolve, it would change shape. You know that only happened once in Beyblade? I I'm getting off track, but um, yeah. It's a little bit more aggressive and fun fact, I put this guy in the background of the Extreme Exo video. The upgraded version, not the old version, and nobody noticed it. I think that's really weird, but you know what? That's that's whatever. No one cares about the old stuff. They want to see the new stuff. Is this new? Is this old? I don't know. Let's move on to Blaze Taurus. Debatably one of the best Beyblades I've made. It now looks like this. It's still just a circle, except it's thick. And it has these um horns right here, which kind of like absorb impacts. Oh shoot, you know what? I completely forgot. Um we gotta weigh the thing, so. I guess we'll like weigh all the things. So um, we got of course, um, cyber. Oh, 51 grams. Wow, that's actually really good. <laughs> that's really solid weight um for just like a metal system thing. Um, but yeah, we'll also just like weigh all the bays since I said I would do that in my videos now. But um, yeah, uh, Blaze Tars, um, not too different from the original, and the combo is the same. Let's go back down, and this guy weighs 52 grams. All right. Yeah, pretty pretty good weight. Hold on, let me just check. Oh right, yeah, because last time I weighed him, it was at 50. I think that was like just an error in the scale or whatever. Okay, um, moving on, we got Storm Hydra, one of my favorite bays. Um, it now has a little bit more gray, some extra like detail with like these um, translucent parts. Honestly, nothing different. The the driver and the uh, disc are the same. It's still five gem. Nothing nothing too different about these guys really um, Also, if you want some like more information on these guys, um, I'll link all of the turn system reviews in the description <laughs> Because why not? Um, but yeah, let's get to the weighing Scale Thank you. Anyway, the weight it's pretty pretty bad. It's like 48 grams. That's like good for Lego Beyblade standards But you know, it's whatever all right, um, moving along, uh, get out of frame, um, moving on, who is, who is the next release? Oh yeah, um, Siege Barbarian, or no, not Siege, originally it was Siege Barbarian, but then I changed it to Mush Boom because it looks like a mushroom, don't ask, that was like, it, my thought process was like, that was the prototype name, and it sounds, Mush Boom was like the prototype name, and like, it sounded cooler than, um, Barbarian back then, I don't, I don't worry about it. But yeah, here's the red Beyblade. Um, the driver's no longer bearing, because that was kind of dumb. It's now the drive... Or no, it's the hyper driver. Um, because it's like a hypersphere driver. Um, now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. But didn't um, Steam Exo come with the hyper driver? Well, yes, but um, you you'll see why I switched the names a little bit um, later in the video. So, yeah, I think this guy also weighed a decent amount. He was like, um, yeah, 52 grams. Well, yeah, because he's like super thick. Really giant Beyblade. It was also a pretty good attack option, despite being like a balance type for some reason. It wasn't bad for attack, just a bit bursty. Oh yeah, also, um, in every single bait, we'll show it off with the next one, which <laughs> this one got changed a lot. We got, um, Surge, um, uh, Surge Anubis. Um, yeah, um, as you can see, it's a lot different, but, um, oh my gosh. Like, there's Putty, um, where the driver goes. I think I already mentioned that in one of my other videos, but we'll mention it again for the sake of mentioning it again. But, um, yeah, uh, Surge Anubis, um, I emphasize, I emphasized, I can't speak, I emphasized the blue a little bit more, um, the black a little bit more, and also it now has putty instead of those rubber tires. I kept the rubber tires on just for fun, but they don't make that much contact, so I just put a crap ton of putty on there. I don't know, maybe they'll make it good, but yeah, this guy weighs... 47 grams. Okay, that's really light, actually. Not too surprising, because it does come with 6, and 6 is a bit mediocre. Uh, who released next? Um, I forgot who released next. Oh, it was this guy! Here we got Fang Phantom, except this is the upgraded version. It's now Spectral Phantom, because this layer base is so different from Fang, I, I cannot call it Fang Phantom anymore. But yeah, I answered this into a design contest that never ended, so that's pretty cool. Can I submit this one in now, please? It doesn't matter, anyway. Um, but yeah, it's much rounder. It has still has, like, spiky bits. 
Uh, I think it looks really, really cool. And also it still has um, the right parts, except the driver, I call it defense, but it's a lot more like the bite driver since it has high friction it, and it looks like it. And it doesn't have the ring like defense, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is a really cool looking Beyblade and also doesn't have that big of recoil like the other one did. Um, I think this one also weighs like the same as, um, oh no, wow, still 47. That is really surprising actually. I'm surprised that it only weighs 47. I thought it would be heavier. Eh, I guess it does come with two. Two's not two's not insanely heavy or anything. But you know what is insanely heavy? The Colossal Cthulhu remake. I gave it like a, a this, a C. That's a C. I just realized. I just realized I made it a C. Whatever. C for Cthulhu. You know. Um, nothing really changed except it now has the the other layer. I didn't with um Barbarian and um these guys. I did not want to um just make like the same exact top layer on the bottom because that would make them like super duper heavy and I didn't want to do that. So instead I gave them these like crazy recoil points. So if you get hit here, you're dead. Also, I gave it the double O disc. Good. Um I originally gave it eleven. I don't think I need to explain why changing it to double O was a good idea. Um, but yeah, now it weighs 52 grams. Again, really good weight. Um, that's why I feel like everyone should do double thickness bays. They're more interesting to look at and they are heavier. I, I stand with Mim Sky on this one. But anyway, um, next up we got Scythe Reaper. Originally it was Hell Reaper. Then I changed and then I made it like more sturdy and then I called it Scythe Reaper. And now it's Scythe Reaper again. Cool. Um, the chip has a different, like, shape to it. Originally, it was, like, the teeth were sticking out of these ends. But then I made them stick out here, and it has, like, a four-spiked pattern on it, which looks pretty cool. Um, the shape is the same. I gave it the five disc, because originally it has a 12 disc. I don't think I need to explain why changing it to 12 was a good idea. Um, <laughs> changing it from to... Changing it to... We're gonna weigh it. <laughs> I can't speak. I'm cold, okay? Because that's a good reason. 51 grams. Wow, the same as, um, Cyber. Okay. Alright, that's that's interesting, I guess. Um, so moving on, we got um wave uh three. Here's the thing, okay? I said that um so these are the original four bays. And then um these guys came out, and I called that wave one. But since we have 12 Beyblades, we have this as wave one. And this is wave two. Dang, a wave with only like a couple of Beyblades. I wonder what else could do that. Anyways, um, let's look, take a look at C-Mech. So nothing changed all that much, except these side contact points are a little bit more aggressive. They look more like the main ones on Cyber, because you know the whole deal with these points on Steam originally were that it like it was um Cyber's contact points, but on um just like stacked on top of each other. Now it's kind of like that. Uh, oh yeah. And the driver is now Assault, um, which is faster than um, Zephyr and Excel. It's short, but it is definitely um, much more aggressive than Hyper, the, the original Hyper driver, which was just Zephyr, but bad. I don't know why I made it, um, but um, yeah, uh, it's a cool Beyblade. It's, it's a decent attacker, I guess. Um, so yeah, the weight is 49 grams, so it's actually 2 grams lighter than... Um, uh, yeah, about two grams lighter. Maybe like one, two. I don't know. But yeah, that does make sense because this has seven and this has four. Four is de four is definitely a little bit um, lighter than seven. Next up, we got um, Infernal Astro, which this I remember. I in the video I titled it "Best Defense Lego Beyblade" with two whole question marks. I think it was two. I don't remember. <laughs> it was like a long time ago, but um, yeah, is it the best? Probably. It's solid. It's a good, it's a decent defense type. Has the same parts. Really nothing changed with this guy because it's perfect as it is. Let's go back down. Don't turn off. Um, yeah, 50 grams, you know, that's, that's good weight. Makes sense because it does have zero. Like I'd say that 50 or like really high 40s to um low 50s is like solid weight for Lego Beyblade. Uh, next we got Smash Excalibur, the last turn system bay to be reviewed. Um, in a video, because of course, um, I reviewed Cell Viper, the next guy, on a stream. My return stream. But yeah, um, it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit better, you know. Like, made it a bit more clean. Still a really good Beyblade. Also, 
um, these points, they're originally just like these slopes, but on the other side. Now they're the pieces I use for the sword, but on the side. So it's like it hits even harder or something. Me rubbing this against my finger represents that. Um, anyways. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Uh, I changed the combo up a little bit. Um, to seven and blur. The blur, it's, it's just a, it's just a f flat, flat thing. Big flat. Yeah. Um, extreme flat. But, um... Yeah, it's better than the old combo. The old combo was Hasbro Convert Iron, which Iron had, like, no attack power. It was, like, even more calm than Excel. Um, and I also wanted to change the discs to Hasbro Blitz, since I don't have a 1 or a 1 dash, and those guys are kind of hard to get, so, yeah. But then I s s just thought, you know what, we'll give it 7. We'll give it, um, this for now. If I get 1 or 1 dash, I'll definitely switch it to that, but, um, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, the gimmick for this guy is that you have the chip, and when this clip is lined with, um, the sword, it's balance mode, but you line the clip up with the, uh, handle, or the hilt, um, then it's unbalanced mode, and it actually does work pretty well. It's a pretty cool Beyblade. And the weight is also, like, pretty good. Yeah, 49. That's, that's good weight. Maybe, like, with other parts, it would be better. Alright, and we have the last turn system bay. Uh, which definitely got nerfed because the original was really stupid OP, uh, but now it's a little bit less OP. Um, this is, of course, Cell Viper, the Cell from uh, Dragon Ball inspired Beyblade. I got Wheel and Rise. This is the heaviest turn system bay, and I made it a lot less round because the stock was just so good. Um, but yeah, also I removed the metal balls. Not like they did anything, but um, I put those into Extreme Exo. So uh, yeah, sacrifices must be made for the um, Beyblades of today. I usually don't take apart my bays to make other ones, but I, I just kind of had to. Um, but yeah, the weight, I think it's like, yeah, clocks in at like 52 grams. I saw it at 53 once. Um, but um, yeah, that is all of the uh, turn system bays. Um, revamped for 2022, or I guess like some of these were re released in 2022, but so maybe you could say 2023, I don't know. And if you guys are wondering about Mystic Valkyrie, because that was another old Beyblade that I reviewed before my hiatus, well let me tell you, it's the exact same. 53 grams, 54, 53 grams, no wonder it always won. So that basically covers all of the, um, turn system bays. Uh, revamped for like the new year or the end of the year or whatever. Um, I think I did a pretty solid job at um, changing them up, um, making them either better or worse or completely different. Because you know, sometimes you just gotta nerf stuff. Not in like not like Hasbro nerfs, but if you want if you want to have like your base like be able to compete with one another. You kind of have to make it pretty balanced, and I think I definitely balanced it up by making all of them OP. Um, besides maybe this guy, but you know, it is what it is. And of course, nothing changed to Mystic Valkyrie, because why would I change this thing? Um, but yeah, um, that about does it for this, um, video. And, uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I just realized that that was Lawrence's intro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not realize that. I think I said stuff like that in the first video actually instead of do whatever you want so i think we're gonna say that from now on because why not but yeah comment like subscribe stuff like that and i'll see you in the next video yeah that has a good ring to it sure